So last week you guys were in the bottom. I know. It was so scary. I know. So what are you doing this week to kind of make sure that doesn't happen again? Well, you know, Andy, like, you know, I want him to feel the most comfortable on that stage. I think that's what the judges have kind of found. Like, you, you know, we want to see you more confident out there. So we're dancing to one of his own songs. So I don't want him to get comfortable in the fact we're like, you know, the next upcoming weeks where he can't dance other people's songs. But this week, I think he's going to gain a lot of strength. It's like his music. He knows this music. We're doing a cha-cha, so it's really, really fun. And I want him to feel alive and like that he owns the space, just like he was to perform, you know, his music live. I want him to feel that comfortable but on the ballroom floor. And so can you kind of tell us about this week's um, dance? Do you have one or two dances? This week? So we only have one dance. Oh my goodness. That week two, two dances was so tricky. I can't even believe they did it to everyone. Um, but it's been really nice because this dance, um, Andy hasn't had to travel on the road. So I think we also had a lot of time to be able to work on this dance. So I think it's going to be a really strong one for him. And I love that this season we're getting to know the dancers a lot. So what else can we see from the dancer, the professional dancer? I, wanna, I think it's a really big blessing to be on that show and be at this level where they're now talking about us because they've never done that in the past. And like talking about us really makes us feel like it was kind of like worth everything, you know? So I'm hoping that like in upcoming weeks there's even more talk about, you know, all the pros and their relationships and their lives that they've lived because a lot of the pros have grown up on the show. And it's like, you want to hear about it. You've seen it, but you've never heard from their mouths what it was like. You know, so I think hopefully, I don't know if they have any more plans for it, but hopefully they could do, you know, they always do like, you know, icon week and stuff like that. Hopefully it'd be cool if like, who are the pros icons? That'd be really cool to see. Yeah. And um, so we're here at a Haunted Hayride. Yeah. Have you ever been to anything like this before? I actually came here last year and I had a great time. And my daughter, I swear, almost died. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> she was so scared. But after she was like, yes, let's do it again. So I was like, okay, I think she can handle it. And so what are you guys gonna be for Halloween this year? She's gonna be a photographer Harlequin. <laughs> Definitely original. I don't know where she got the idea, but I'm so excited about it. And my husband and I, we haven't decided, but we'll definitely probably stay themed around her. So do something superhero-ish. Not gonna tease, except to say, watch it. When it comes out, gosh darn it, people. This is a big moment. I would love for Evie to have like her own fashion line. That could be really cool because Evie, you know, designs and sews her dresses. And I would love it if maybe 